We want to take some time here to talk about what is called are called lunar months. I have put in this here for reference. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over this. Got our ecliptic, Tropic of uh, Capricorn, Tropic of Cancer, Polar North and South, area of the waters above the dragon head, areas of the waters below the dragon tail. This is by way of reference. Okay. This is our ecliptic line, which we have straightened out up here. And we'll get into the presentation. Our first type of lunar month is what's called a draconic month. It lasts 27.2 days going from what's called node to node. The node is the point where the moon crosses over the ecliptic line, comes down, goes back up, crosses over the ecliptic line, comes around and back down. As you can see, the time from We've done point A to point A here, like we're wrapping around the world. So the amount of time that it takes for the moon to travel this path is 27.2 days going from this node, from across here, back again to this node. That's why I have point A and point A right here. Second type of lunar month is called a sidereal month. It lasts 27.3 days star to star. Now a side reel month is kind of interesting. A side reel month, here's the earth and here's the moon. The side reel month is the amount of actual time it takes for the moon to go all the way around the earth and back to the same point again. So it actually would be looking at the same exact from star to star. It was actually a total of 27.3 days. It's one tenth of a day longer than a draconic month, which is 27 Point two days. Then we have another type of month which is actually called a synodic month. The synodic month is how we govern lunar months and this is actually uh, 29.5 days from new moon to new moon. So someone might ask the question why is it that this 27.3 days, the side reel month, star to star, is shorter than what's considered to be the new moon to new moon. Well, the reason for that is, if you look at this right here, here the moon is going around like so, but while the moon's going around, we're going around the sun. So in the course of 27.3 days, we move about 30 degrees around the sun. Now, when we have that movement, okay, as a result, as this comes around like this, like so, we end up in a position where the sidereal month, is still facing in this direction, but in order to get ourselves in a position where we can have a new moon, we need to be facing, the moon needs to be facing in this direction right here. And so that requires an extra 2.2 days to make up the difference from 27.3 all the way to the point where we're actually going to be looking at what's called a new moon 2.2 days later. So the difference between these is about 2.2 days difference. And the total amount of time for a new moon to new moon is 29.5 days. I know it sounds a little bit uh, complicated, but it's fairly simple. We understand that what we're looking at is three different types of lunar months separated by about a little more than two and a half days or about two and a half days from each one of them. We have the draconic month, 27.2 days. That's the time it takes for the moon to go from across the ecliptic line all the way back to the same point again. Then we have the side grill month, which is 27.3 days, going from star to star. We have the moon coming all the way around the earth like this, total 27.3 days. Then we have the new moon month, or should we say the, the synodic month, where the moon is going, we're going from new moon to new moon, called the synodic month. And the synodic month represents the time it takes to go from new moon to new moon, and it's 20, uh, where is it at? 29.5 days to do that. And the result, the reason why that takes place is because the moon, uh, as we're moving across the sun or around the sun, the moon is moving as well, and so our angle is different, and so we need that extra 2.2 days to make up the difference. I'm going to step out of the screen here. You can have some time to look at this. And we're going to go on to our next video. Our next video is going to be talking a little bit more about uh, what we're going to be calling uh, lunar or uh, astronomical mythology. In fact, it's through the astronomical mythology 
that we get the concept of what's called the Dragon Month or the Draconic Month. This, this word right here I took right off of NASA. I didn't make this up. Okay? And this is kind of like the link between the astronomy and the mythology that, uh, we, that's associated with the uh, constellations and the skies. So the next is going to be primary, just a lecture. I'm not going to have a big chart like this. Take some time to look at this, and we'll go on to our next video. Thank you.